Hello and welcome to Carlu. In this episode, I will walk you through the steps required to install a rear spoiler. There are many how-to videos on my channel. You can find the playlist here. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for many more videos like this. Firstly, unpack your desired spoiler that you have chosen to adorn the rear of your car. As you can see here, I went for a full carbon fibre example provided to me by JH Parts. Link to them in the description below. Spoilers of this kind don't offer any ground effects. They are purely for cosmetic purposes. You should examine your newly acquired product. Check in the spoiler is good quality and free from any blemishes. What do you think of my spoiler? Comment below. Next up, clean your boot lid thoroughly. It's also a good idea to use a degreasing agent to enable the 3M tape to adhere properly. Here I am, sizing up the spoiler on the rear of the car and making sure it's a nice snug fit. Luckily, it was. Result. We've applied 3M tape to the underside of the spoiler and it's a good idea, especially if you're in a colder environment, to use a hairdryer or in this case a heat gun to warm the tape to aid its activation to cure. It's also a good idea to warm up the boot lid lightly. Although most spoilers, including this one, are ridged on the underside to sit perfectly on the edge of the boot lid, there is always room for adjustment and ideally you want the spoiler to sit completely centered. On many other models of cars, you might have boot shut lines. This will make it much more easier to measure the distances between that line and the edge of the spoiler. But in my case, as you can see here, my car is a convertible, so the shut lines are halfway down the rear quarters and not much use to me. So to overcome this disadvantage, we run a line of masking tape up the rear of the car and over the boot. The masking tape is a very good idea on any install as a marker because once you place the spoiler on the boot lid, the 3M tape grabs quite hard and doesn't allow for repositioning if you've placed it in the wrong place. As you can see here, with the spoiler removed, we now have a clear masking tape positioning marker. So now it's time to place the spoiler on the boot for the final time and peel off the tape. You can see here the tape on the front of the spoiler is being removed first and then at the rear. You will need to apply a fair amount of pressure to the top of the spoiler, again helping the tape activate and adhere as strongly as possible to the boot lid. Once you are confident that the boot spoiler is firmly stuck down, the job is complete. Although it is advisable that you give it an hour or two before driving the vehicle, as the bonding tape will need time to go off. As the temperatures were low on the day of fitting this spoiler, we once again used the heat gun to raise the temperature that the tape requires to bond most efficiently. That's the job complete. I was definitely happy with the results. Is there any tips that I've missed off? Was the video helpful to you? Feel free to comment below. We are going to change one of the front ABS speed sensors on my M3. In my experience, having changed all four sensors, I can tell you they are very fragile. So if you get a warning light on the dashboard like this, most of the time it will be the ABS speed sensor which is at fault. It's a good idea to plug in a fault reader to tell you which one is faulty, as there are four.